So today we're going to be giving the Ender 3 V2 a new brain. And our very first step before taking anything apart is to take pictures of where everything is located so we don't forget. Next, I'm going to go in here and try to take off any of this hot glue that's all over all the components just to make life a little easier. Doing so makes it a lot easier to pull out all of these little connections. In fact, if you don't, some of these might not even come out. Next, to remove the wires for your hot end, you're going to need a tiny little flathead screwdriver. Next, locate all of these little screws around your board and remove those. Once they're all removed, your board should come right out. Next, we take our new board, and I like to do all of the screw-in pieces first, just because those are more difficult once everything is installed. While we're here, and before we get too far, I'm also going to go ahead and install a new hot end on this machine, because it's needed one for a little while, and I just haven't done it yet. First, let's go ahead and take off our shroud, and remember, if you plan on reusing this Bowden tube, it works better if it's hot, because you'll want to be able to pull this out. Next, we'll remove these two screws that hold the hot end on. After snipping any necessary zip ties, all of this should come right out. Keep in mind that if you're doing the hot end only, you need to take a picture to remember where everything goes. And now that all those wires are back into place, we can begin screwing the board back in. Then, using the pictures we took earlier, reinstall all of our connectors. Next, locate some zip ties. And manage up those cables the best you can. Reinstall your cover. And in my case, reinstall the hot ends, not forgetting to reroute my BL touch wire if you've got one. In my specific case, I will also have to reinstall the BL touch firmware, change the nozzle back to a 0.6, re-level and reconfigure my Z offset, as well as eventually get a Capricorn tube back on there. But for the most part, that's all there is to it, and hopefully this machine should be working just fine now. Make sure you're following for more.